Now that you've got everything plugged in, it's a good idea to jump in and create a new blank empty project. So I'm going to go to File up here and choose New. I could also hit Command N. I'm going to pick Empty Project and at this time I'm going to take a look at the Details window down here. If you can't see it, just simply click on the little Details button and drop it down. When I'm creating a new project, I can choose a tempo right here. If I'm not sure of what the tempo is, I can tap it by clicking on this button. So I just kind of go one, two, three, four, and there it goes. GarageBand finds the speed and automatically sets it of the tempo I had in my head. I'm going to pick a key signature. So it's important to think about what key your song is going to be in. GarageBand does a lot of work behind the scenes with key for you. So it's important that you accurately tell GarageBand what key you plan to work in. So I'm going to leave it in the key of C for now. Major to get a nice bright sound. Time signature is the same deal. You might think, well, what if I want to change it? Don't worry, you can change it later. It's just important to set it because GarageBand is going to do stuff for you when it knows what time signature you're working in. It's going to match its sounds that it adds to your song when you choose to, to the sounds that you're playing in, and it needs to know the time and key. Finally, you can pick your input and output device right there, which we've already talked about. So I'm going to choose, and there's my new song. It's going to create a new track, a MIDI track, with an electric piano. And I can change that if I want to, no problem. But you'll see, it didn't add any stuff. There's no effects. There's no long, big list of instruments. It's just blank, a blank slate ready to go with my tempo set up top and my key and time signature showing right next to it. 